In this video, I'll be showing you how to make soft lock crochet using kinky hair and how to properly install soft lock crochet. Let's get down into the video. I'll be using Darling Kinky for this tutorial and I use three packs to make 60 pieces of soft lock crochet and it comes 10 pieces in a pack already segmented. So I just go ahead to prep my kinky hair. Now this is not your human hair kinky, this is a synthetic form of kinky so it can be a hassle to detangle this up and make sure that it's smooth for you to get smaller chunks or portions of your kinky hair. So I just cut out the edges just to make it easy for me to move about and to manipulate this kinky hair and just like feed it a little so that it's not too sharp. I'm going to cut a small chunk of my kinky hair. This is the first one I'm going to use for wrapping and to cut a bigger chunk. So the first one is what I'm going to start my locks with and the second one is going to be for the main body that's the size of my locks now i use twine and i just wrapped it on the chair you can use whatever you have and i use kene clone braiding hair to put in between my locks i noticed that this is better than using the kinky directly and it also helps to save your kinky too this is when you use the kinky by the time the loop is ready that's the crochet loop it tends to be bulky after and i'm going for a soft lock and i want my loop and the beginning of my crochet to be very slim and thin so what I, I do is i just make sure that i align my keneclone braiding hair to be the exact length i want so if it's a 10 inches i want i make sure that my keneclone braiding hair is as long as 10 inch then i'm going to twist my hair five or six times depending on what you want i'm going to add the smaller piece of the kinky hair here and twist it about three times or so this helps to lock in the kinky hair so that it doesn't move about when i start wrapping and once i'm done with that i'm just going to start wrapping my kinky and there's a technique to wrapping your hairs it's like the word wrap it's like you're overlapping it on top of the last one you made and once i've wrapped enough to the point where i want to stop basically where to the point where i twisted i'm going to add the bigger portion of my kinky hair this bigger portion is going to be like the ideal size of my kinky so the second kinky is going to be the exact size you want your locks to be while the first one is to create that soft locks look so you're basically going to wrap until you have gotten to the exact length you want and if you put it down together and it's not still there you can still wrap some more until you are fully satisfied with it and once i'm done with that this is basically how i lock my locks and basically how i end my locks i begin wrapping it back up i just take small pieces or smaller chunks of my hair that's the hair that is still remaining and i wrap it back upwards this helps to lock in my locks and it helps to also give my locks that slim to thick look that soft locks are supposed to have or locks in general it, make, it just makes it look better so i'm just going to keep doing it until i'm exhausted completely the kinky hairs that are still on my locks this is the best way to secure your locks and you want to use a curly hair that is why we're using kinky for this something that has texture not a straight hair to wrap your locks so when i'm done i'm just going to ruffle it in between my fingers just to lock it up in and just make sure that everything is cemented together and this is basically how it looks i basically made two locks out of one of the kinky hair how it was packed in the pack for the shorter length that's my 10 inch length of locks now i'm just going to repeat the process again for those who didn't understand the first one the first thing i do is to get my kineclone ready here i align it to the length of the locks i want that if i want a 10 inch i make sure that it's long enough as a 10 inch and then I twist my keneclone braiding hair at least five times in the beginning and then after twisting I'm going to add the smaller piece of my kinky hair and when I'm adding it I'm going to make sure that one side is shorter and the side that is shorter is going to basically be where my left hand is that's where the shorter part is going to be while the longer part is the one I'm going to use to wrap and then I'm going to just twist it three times three times is enough to lock it in so that the kinky doesn't move about when i start wrapping the hair so you can see the longer part i'm just going to you see how i'm going to use my hand to hold it and start wrapping and notice that i don't wrap immediately from where the keneclone braiding hair and the twine starts from i should give a little space which is going to form the crochet loop now this is the wrapping technique i was talking about i kind of spread 
my kinky hair and the way you are wrapping is like it's overlapping on the last um, wrap that you just made you're not basically moving your hand it's basically the way you are wrapping is going to by default push your hand down a little and this is basically how you just wrap this is in slow motion and i wrap till i get to that point where i twisted this is going to be the indicator to tell you that okay it's time to add the bigger chunk that's the bigger piece of the kinecolon braiding hair which is basically the ideal size you want your locks to be so this is a bigger chunk i'm going to make one end to be shorter just like how we added the smaller chunk i'm going to add it underneath the smaller lock Look. and you can see how i lift the end of the smaller lock and the bigger one the new one i'm adding i'm going to take it and wrap it back so that it comes under the initial lock i was wrapping this helps so that it gives a seamless look and there is no demarcation because this is a bigger chunk of kinky hair i'm adding so if i just start wrapping like that there's going to be an obvious demarcation and you do not want that so this is basically how you add new pieces into your locks and so that it doesn't create any demarcation and you can see how i'm spreading my locks this prevents it from being too bulky or from it getting fatter than the ideal size you want it to be so i just keep spreading it as i'm going and i just keep doing my overlapping wrapping and you can see how my hands is securely holding my locks and i keep wrapping so for your longer locks you basically will not use only two sizes of your kinky extensions you might have to add a smaller piece just because it's longer so you see how i'm adding the smaller piece exactly the way i added the first one i added underneath the, the one that was there before and you see the the extensions of it and i'm just going to make sure that that new one i added i wrap it so that it's underneath that first one not on top and i keep wrapping now because this is a shorter um a shorter length of kinky i'm not going to wrap it the way i did the other one i'm just going to make it be part of the body of my locks so that it doesn't stick out and i'm just going to wrap till i have gotten to the length i want it to be you can take your measuring tape and measure it but while measuring it you also want to align it to the already um existing locks that you have created and once you are done you wrap it back up just as i explained the first time to lock your locks now when you are done doing that you just trim the locks the fire rays just little hairs it's just a light trimming it's not supposed to be completely smooth it's supposed to still give that rough texture look to it and this is how i seal the ends of my locks i use a lighter i basically just run the lighter through the ends of my locks like it's less than a minute it's like you're in and you're out and it gives a very nice finish and this is not going to create any any bones that's going to spoil your clothes and when i'm done i like to dip my locks in water basically i like to drench it in hot water do not be afraid to pour hot water on your locks especially your kinky locks i don't know about other um braiding hair before these kinky locks do not be afraid it gives it a very seamless look you know how your braids look when you dip it in water this is basically what it does to your kinky it makes it flow and then i go in with my ultra set hair mousse and i tell you guys you do not need so much mousse for this i don't even know why i use this much mousse on my kinky hair because you will see later that it was too much that it gave it a kind of whitish color which i had to go back and dip in so just to get that out and basically i got three lengths a 10 a 12 and a 14 inch for my locks and you can just see as it's dried how it's moving and flowing you can even see how it's shiny like it looks so nice and yummy and that's how you want your soft locks to look so basically this is we're now on the part of the installation so initially like i said my clients ordered for a bob soft locks but while installing the hair she said she wanted it to be longer so i just added kinecolon braiding hair to increase the length of her hair while i was adding it basically if you want to see how i added the kinecolon braiding hair on how i attached the locks i have a short on my channel i'm going to put the link in the description you can go ahead and check it if this is not explanatory enough 
and then i'm going to go ahead to start wrapping so i'm going to use a crochet pin and a small portion or a small chunk of my kinky hair you don't want to use too big kinky hair you're trying to wrap it you don't want it to be too big you don't want the roots to be too bulky or too big because then it's not going to give the soft lock look anymore and it's not going to move freely so just basically the way you're wrapping you make the left part of it to be shorter but this time it's going to be as long enough to where your soft locks started from that's where you attached your soft locks it's going to be long enough so that it can go back to the root of the hair so when you're wrapping basically wrapping only twice is sufficient enough to hold down your locks that's why when you're making your braids for your locks you want to make sure that your braids are tight so that you don't put so much stress when you are wrapping your locks i tell you two times is enough if you make it more than that it's going to be too bulky and then your locks is going to be stiff and it might end up being painful at the end of the day so i'm just going to wrap the exact same way i was i made the locks that's how i'm going to wrap it to cover up the hair my client's hair and when i just wrap some few inches i'm going to now take back just like call it shorting the left kinky extensions this is going to help to give me the desired size i want like i said i wanted the tip not so that i wanted I didn't want the tip to be too bulky that was why i started wrapping with the small one and after going for some inches then i now try to increase the size by wrapping it again so this is basically what you're going to do when you get to the point that demarcation where your soft locks and your client's hair meet this um kinky extension in between is going to be like a a mediator between the two of them so that that point is not too soft or like too like just not moving in the right direction and if you run out of kinky hair you can just add a small piece to it but at this point you won't you want to add so big kinky hair you're just going to keep wrapping just add a small point and wrap till you get to the soft look that thin part of your soft looks and then i like to wrap just about two or three times over that just so that it blends easily and you can see that there's still a small demarcation and i still have some kinky hair left what i do right now after i've gotten to that point is to wrap it back up this is how you're going to secure your locks just the same way we ended our locks that's how you're going to wrap this up and make sure that it's even guys i tell you you won't be able to differentiate between this and a hair that was locked from beginning and this method saves a lot of time and when i'm done i just rough it up together you can just look at that you can see how seamless it is and you can see how easy it moves this is the difference between soft locks and all those locks are so stiff this is basically what it means i used one pack of darling kinky hair to wrap my locks and this is the final look guys she was super super excited with the outcome and by the way this is my mom say hi thank you for watching this video i hope this video was super helpful don't forget to subscribe like and drop a comment on whatever you think you want me to show you next bye